Welcome to my YouTube channel, House Plans with the Join. Today, I want to be teaching you guys on how to design to put a b-board inside a glass like this. Okay, as you can see, this building is uh, I'm actually trying to model this kind of a building, which is a plaza where people can go shop. So, as you can see, we have the we have the shopping pictures, something to indicate that this is uh, what this building represents. Okay, we also have the same here at the back, as you can see. We have we have the different. Uh, you see, we also have pictures like this. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you guys on how to do this in AkiCAD. Okay, so what you want to do is you, you want to go to the ground floor. So I'm just gonna go to the ground floor first. Uh, okay, on that design, click um, look for the object tool here. Okay, click on the settings dialog and search for picture. Okay, now this is the picture 205. Okay, I'm gonna click on OK, and once I'm done, I'm just going to click. When I click, I'm gonna see this right here. So, what I want to do is I'm going to go to the 3D view, I'm going to go and look for it. Okay, this is it right here, it's very, very small. Okay, and we want to fit it into something like this. Okay, so what I'm just gonna do is I'm going to delete this one. I'm just gonna delete it so if I go to the 3d view this should be gone from here okay so we have something plain like this so if I go to the ground floor now uh, I want to fit in this inside this place so what I want to do is what I want to do is I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the elevation now this is the east elevation yeah so I'm just going to double click on the East Elevation So uh, this is the picture here, okay So I'm going to click on the picture Now I'm going to give my own kind of a distance By pressing M, I'm going to look for the, the, I'm going to look for the distance By pressing M on the keyboard And I'm going to take it from here to this place which is giving me 35, okay so I'm just going to do, uh, let me say 4,000 or 37. Uh, I'm not going to do 4,000 just in case. Okay, so I'm going to click here and do 4,000 here. Click enter. I like to load and you have something like this. Now for the height, I'm going to click this and click down here and I'm moving to 9. I'm going to give this one to be, this is the height here. So I'm just going to make this one to be 3 2 click enter so we have something like this okay now i'm going to go to the i'm going to click this and press ctrl d on my keyboard i'll try to move this down okay okay so let me try and reduce this by just if you want to reduce it just click on it and click on this black node select the stretch height and uh, just click and yeah there you go then press ctrl d to move it to this side here yep so as you can see it's covered this particular uh glass wall so i'm going to go to the 3d view so as you can see how big you can see how big it is okay so what we want to do is we want to try and input a picture like this into this frame you can decide to click on the on the on the frame and click on the settings dialog and decide to use uh, this simple frame or without frame is your choice okay now i'm going to go with this simple frame i click on ok now what i'm going to do is i want to try and input the picture now for me to input the picture i'm going to go to options come to element attributes and go to surface now once this is done i'm going to click on new and i'm going to create a new i want to make sure i'm clicking on this duplicate here I should duplicate it selected and I'm going to write uh, a picture I'm going to select a picture and click on OK now once that is done you've created a new surface okay as you can see a new picture now what I want you to do next is come to this to this texture here and click browse so I'm going to click on add and I'm going to come to the desktop here, in my desktop here, I'm going to click, I'm just going to scroll, as you can see, 
uh, because I, I downloaded some pictures online, so uh, I renamed it as shopping photo. So I'm going to click on the shopping photo. So whatever picture you guys downloaded online, you guys should uh, try and locate it. And just select on this one and click on OK. I like to load. Yeah, as you can see this is it. And once that is done, just click on OK. As you can see, the picture is already inside the inside Archicad already. So you can come here and you can is that you select you can decide to select original proportion is your choice, or you can come here and just select the kind of size you want. Okay, you can come here and select because given the size that we used for the frame, we use something close to four thousand. And let's give this one um, another four thousand. So let's, let's make it be broad. Okay, let's say, let's say something like this. Okay. Now, what you want to do next now is come to the to this basic basic engine and click sign where by Maxon. Okay. Untick this bump and and uh, come here, come here to match settings and click update basic settings from sign where. Okay. Click on it. And uh, just click on OK. So now you want to come and input that picture into this place now. So click on the frame, click on the settings dialog, and come to this use custom picture. Make sure you are clicking, uh, if in case you are looking for it, make sure you are clicking this picture settings and click use custom picture. Now come here, select this, and look for the name the picture will save as. It will save as shopping, shopping photo. Uh, I have I have shopping here, but not the shopping I'm looking for. In case you can you can't get the picture here. In case you can't get the, you can't get the picture here. What you need, what you just have to do is go to your desktop, okay? Go to your desktop. I'm going to go to my farm manager and go to my desktop here, and I'm going to see the shopping photo. I want you to copy the name of the shopping photo. Just copy the name. I cancel this. Come here. Click this box here. Right click. And press paste. Now click on OK. Now automatically the picture is going to be inputted input inside the inside Archicad. As you can see, it you can see how broad and uh, OK it looks like. So what you want to do next now is go to the ground floor. Click this. Press Ctrl D on your keyboard. Click this black node and try to input and try to bring this inside the frame. Okay. Since it's here, yeah, so since it's like this, I also want to make sure I'm making a straight line. Click this and try and see if this is actually fitting in. Okay, press Ctrl D and move this a little bit. Make sure you are holding shifts to make a straight line. Okay, so now you have something like this. You can decide to you know reduce the size. Okay, you can just decide to re reduce the size of the of the frame. I'm, I'm not going to make it to be touching it just a little bit, okay. But you can decide to make yours to be like that. I don't know. It's your choice. Okay. But my my wall is not straight, so I'm I'm just going to make this to be outside a little bit, something like that. Okay. So now once you are done, you can go to the 3D 3D video and check it out. As you can see how beautiful it looks like. As you can see, it's inside. If you decide to render this now, you guys are gonna see how beautiful it's gonna look. So this is one of the ways for you to do this in Archicad, okay? To make your video look more realistic, okay? Thank you for watching my video. If my video has been of any help to you, kindly subscribe, comment and like. And I will see you in my next other videos. Thank you.